Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode we're going to be discussing the monthly knife club for August 2017. So stick with me. everybody and thank you for sticking with me like I said today we're gonna to be discussing the monthly knife club for August 2017 now over the past two months I've done reviews on these and the first one was pretty lackluster the second one in my opinion was pretty god-awful and so we talked back and forth with the owner and letting them know what the feedback I'm getting in the comments the messages I'm getting on Facebook and what I would like to see change differently and this is the result of what has been taking place. Now, the only difference they changed up this month is this card that they've got here. They don't delineate between the advanced and the different levels in the box, and they just kind of show off this is the ultimate plan, which kind of sucks because I have no idea what kind of value the lower and subsequent tiers are getting based off of this particular card. It's the FM2176 Survival Field Manual by the Department of Defense. This is a good basic go-to field manual for any uh, instructions on how to do plant identification, shelter building, anything like that. Uh, even though this is an older field manual that came out in 1970, there's still viable, useful information despite some updates that have occurred in the few, past few decades. The next item is this Bellato Baladeo keychain knife. Never even heard of the brand. They are on Amazon though, and I looked them up, and they have really, 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 really bad reviews. But um, this is the keychain knife. I wasn't super thrilled when I got this, um, because that's the main blade is like really, really, really thin. But you can actually bend the steel, which proves to me this is not heat treated. Um, this is one of the cheaper items in the box, but <sighs> why? The next item is much better. This is the Remington Tactical Pen. This is the actual pen that I use to do all my individual research on the note card to give you guys the consumer pricing of what I found on Amazon. It's got a really good glass breaking tip on it. It does break tempered glass really, really well. I love tactical pens because they're lightweight. They're a good writing implement, but if you need it in an emergency like a vehicular accident, or you do need it in a very quick pinch to use it in a self-defense situation and then run away and get out of there, this is definitely handy to have all new at all times. The next item up is this SOG Spirit Spearhead. I actually like this thing. This is made of uh, 420 high carbon steel that it has a black coating on it. I enjoy the fact for a very budget friendly little tool, this is very versatile. This could be very useful in a survival situation. You do have a small kind of stabbing point. You could use this for spear fishing for something really big. But in addition to that, um, SOG try to kind of think ahead so if you catch yourself in an urban survival situation, you can, this is actually fitted for the same size screws you would find on a standard like wooden broom handle. And you can basically just thread it on there or you can use a stick to go through there. However, um, as for people who like to use recreational knife throwing, this is a lot of fun to throw and it was really easy. I am not a knife thrower by any means and it only took me just a couple minutes to start sticking this pretty reliably from about 10 to 15 feet away. Now they have this rated at $29 value. This is something I need to talk on. And that it even they even denote here that it was $51 on SOG's website. However, when I went to Amazon, I did the price match and did some research, it's only $17.99. So that is one of the few prices that are drastically way over um, inflated. But for most of the other items, they're pretty on par with what I found on Amazon. The next item in the box is this solar powered Brinkman flashlight. Until today, I had not heard of Brinkman flashlights and when I first got this, this was not charged and ready to go. This has a um, charging unit that you actually have to plug into the wall to charge it up or you can use the solar panels outside. I haven't had it long enough to check out the solar panels and the usefulness, but um, that is the flashlight, the only mode. I already spoke to the owner about it and I was a little disappointed due to the fact that I did some initial testing at the same distance inside my house 
And this flashlight, this is the keychain flashlight, this is the Photon, which is a $10 flashlight keychain light. This is a really versatile light for survival situations and emergencies. It only costs about 10 bucks and it's way brighter than that big old honkin' plastic thing. But to take it a step farther, this is a single AAA battery flashlight from Lumentop. And this particular flashlight on its medium setting, and this is the high setting, are far, far brighter. With that said, this is, I don't, I mean, honestly, I, I don't even know. Now we move on to the highlights of this box, and this is the Real Steel Flying Shark. This is actually a really, really decent knife. Uh, checking this on Amazon, this knife goes for like $89 on Amazon. So I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty freaking sweet. And it uses a Sandvik steel. This is not the same steel they use in the cheap Moros. This is one they use in like the Garberg and the higher end ones. Uh, it is 14C28N. It's one of their proprietary steels. It uses a G10 pocket clip, which is pretty neat. They got a frame lock sporting here with the flipper design, but there is this locking mechanism right here that prevents any travel from the frame lock. So you have a more secure handling during usage, which is kind of nice during your tasks. Um, during testing, it didn't come overly sharp. However, because of the steel and the ease of sharpening and the overall usefulness, it shouldn't be too difficult to put a good edge on it. And the other star of this box is the Kaiser Kiri or Kyrie, uh, K Y R E. This is another flipper design. You sporting VG10 and G10 handle scales. This has basically an older brother that used sports S35VN and titanium. However, for a box this price, I'm not expecting that. This goes for about $80 on Amazon, and I would definitely say it is worth it. Overall, this is for the testing we did. But however, this was also another blade that didn't come psychotically sharp. However, I like the materials. It came centered. It's really smooth action. There was solid lockup. As you can see, it is not a bad knife at all. I was very happy. In this month's box, we were very bladed tool and knife centric. With all of that said, the Brinkman flashlight and this Bellatio keychain knife, I mean, you could probably give this to your kid. You could throw it on a keychain maybe. But these two items are pretty much garbage in my opinion. However, the overall value of the box that these contribute to is very minimal. Uh, focusing on the two pocket knives you get that are actually really solid, the Remington Tactical Pin, the Survival Manual, and the Sog Spirit, you're still looking at over a $200 value in this box this month, which is a vast freaking improvement from some of the past boxes. You definitely are getting your money's worth with everything, every single item added up. We are looking at a total of $239.40 versus the total value they have annotated on the card at $246. And you do pay $165 a month for this premium box service. However, with this month how as it stands, you still are getting your money's worth as you're still getting about a $220 value with really nice, reliable items. All in all, so this is the box for August. I'm really excited to see how they are slowly stepping up their game. I did reach out to him and say that I did want to see for small multi-tools, keychains, and flashlights, I do want to see some improvements. I gave him some brands and things to look into, about seven or eight different companies that do make really nice quality products that are budget priced, that don't suck. So hopefully in the subsequent months, we will start seeing better and better and better here from the Monthly Knife Club, and they'll start becoming one of the best overall values for a subscription service, especially one that is knife-centric. But that just about is it for now. If you enjoyed the full test and review of the Monthly Knife Club Ultimate Box, give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about is it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute... Wonderful day, I'm out.